Now you may not know this, but UEC internally uses the Amazon Kindle Gen tool to create Mobi files. Now sometimes when you're trying to create a Mobi file, you may get some errors. These error messages are actually generated by the Kindle Gen tool. So in this video, I want to show you some techniques that will help you capture these errors. And if you can't figure them out, then at least you can always send me the error report from the tool. So I've already loaded a UEC project in UEC. So we want to go to configuration, then preferences and then go to the Kindle Gen Tool tab. And over here, what we want to do is we want to check this option here which says Display Kindle Gen Output Messages After Conversion. And what this will do is basically when we run the Generate to Mobi file uh, option, internally the program will capture all the output that's generated from the Kindle Gen Tool into a dialog box. Okay, so once we've done that, we'll click close and then we'll head on over to export and then generate movie file. And then we'll click OK. So this process will take a few seconds. Okay, and once it finishes, you're going to get this dialog box popping up which says Amazon Kindle Tool Output. So this is the output that's generated by the tool. Now as you can see here in this particular case there is no error messages so this is just giving you a report of exactly what the Kindle Gen tool has done in creating the Mobi file. So this may be interesting to kind of read and to see exactly what it's going to it's it's doing but the main thing here is that if there is an error then this area here will give you the error report and if you cannot figure this out then simply copy to the clipboard so you want to click this button here and then you want to send me an email with this in uh, with these messages so that's it that's all you have to do and then hopefully what I'll do is I'll try and figure out what your uh, what the problem is and try and fix it so that is the video it's very simple and obviously, um, once you've figured out or fixed the problem, don't forget to go back into preferences and then uncheck this because if you don't do that, then that dialogue will pop every single time. All right, so that is the video and we'll see you in the next one.